living positively, living positive, living positively, living positively. Molweni, namkele kile kuse ingwa ba pitit, inkubo ya ke wonke ubane opila nencholo ngwane kaka ulayo. Inza poze tu, izi klobo, abali ngane betu, abandwe sisibenza nabo kunye na base benzi beze mpilo. Tingno kubo ngayawa, kwa indi pila ngu kupande nencholo ngwane kaka ulayo. Kwe minyaka embalwa elu lileyo, ili uzele tulizibone lini nani elipezu lwezi fo ezinge wa matriza kwe tipi. Ise fo se pepa akululanga ukusibona, uvava nyolua solu kuka ukuliswa kwe kalcha yesi kotlela, itipi kalcha ngolua se mzini. Enga tata inyanga ezi ndatu, londa iteta ukuba, izi kulana zilinda ikosha elite ukwazi imi pumela. Ngelika basalinde izi pumo, itipi ianda yona ekaleni. Oku kwa na kukulisa ama tuba ukusweleka itipi, bosulele nabanye abantu, inga kumbi abantu abathala nabo. Masi eka elicha, apo umachini omcha, ukauleza yu ukubona itipi, uvava nyoayo. I'm tired of this Kylie. Check out MSF. This is not going to Dr. Hugh. I just trust the lab and zing and they'll enjoy your test at TV. Currently in South Africa, if we suspect that somebody has TB, we get them to give us some sputum samples. With these sputum samples, we test them with smear microscopy, which is where we look at the sputum on a slide underneath a microscope. We also then um, take it for culture where we try and grow the bug and identify whether it's TB or not. So the current methods of diagnosis can be quite slow. The gold standard at the moment is to culture the sputum from a patient who we suspect has TB, especially in patients who are co-infected with HIV. So to culture a sputum sample, it would take from six to eight weeks, sometimes longer depending on where you are in South Africa. So. Over this time that a patient is waiting to be diagnosed with TB, then their disease progresses and it increases the chance that they might die from the disease and it also increases the likelihood of transmitting the TB to other people. Can you explain the new rapid test? Currently what's on trial at the moment is a new rapid diagnostic test called the Gene Expert. And this system is the GeneXpert machine, which is linked to a personal computer, and it uses cartridges. Hi, Carol. Please meet you. So, we think that perhaps you have TB. So, we would like you to give a sputum sample. You just have to cough and put the sputum sample into this jar for me. There's a sputum booth just behind me. You can go through and close the door. Give you a sample. Thanks. So what happens is the patient provides their sputum sample. We take the sputum sample and mix it with a buffer. We then take a specified amount of this mixture and put it into one of the cartridges. The cartridge then gets placed into the machine. At this point, it's fully automated, so there's no more hands-on work after that. So it reduces the risk of cross-contamination and of transmission to people working in the lab. So once the cartridge has gone into the machine, it then takes under two hours to come out with the result to tell us whether the patient has TB or not. This machine now is currently on trial. How long maybe it will be uh, available in the community? The machine at the moment is not routinely being used in clinics anywhere in South Africa. It's currently still in the trial phase. So we entered phase two of the trial that's being run here in Kailicha, which is in conjunction with UCT and NHLS. Phase two started in September, so it will probably continue until at least next November, if not longer. After that, the test still needs to be trialled in routine conditions. So within the next two years or so, it probably won't be rolled out as a routine test across South Africa yet. 